Showing livestock is one of the great traditions here at the Iowa State Fair. And the 4-H program and the young people who participate, they really devote themselves to these projects. Let's head over to the sheep barn to see the results of their hard work. Housed in the sheep barn on the Iowa State Fairgrounds, the 4-H Market Lamb Show was in full swing this year. 4-H kids from all across Iowa submitted their sheep for consideration, each hoping to come away with the title of Grand Champion. Jordan Ambergy from Mount Sterling, Kentucky was this year's sheep show judge. So no, I've been uh, around sheep all my life. It's, it's my career, it's my passion. Uh, work with small ruminants daily got sheep at home, so it's just something that uh, at this point in my life, it's uh, what it's all about. You know, I, I think sheep are unique because, you know, sheep and goats, I should say, because we actually get to put our hands on them and evaluate their uh, their muscle and carcass traits. Uh, whereas pigs, it, it's all on emotion and cattle, we really don't emphasize that up to a high degree. So I think sheep, you know, if if your hands meet your eyes, you can judge a lot just in terms of uh, what you actually feel with your hands. I like the elite ones. I like the ones that uh, internally make me smile. And I guess what those look like are the ones that uh, just have that presence that look like a champion. Uh, they come out and they, they know they're good, but still they're basic in terms of having some muscle, having some uh, carcass merit about them, but still, most importantly, they're sound and athletic, and ultimately, we got to take a picture at the end of the day, uh, so they got to look like a champion. Once I establish that they have enough muscle or they don't, then we can start uh, basing things on, you know, the quality, the aesthetics, uh, the build, their skeleton, uh, and combine that with the, the proper muscle organization to find those elite ones that are your blue ribbon winners. Aesthetically, everybody's different. Uh, I like them built uh, as flawless as possible. I like to watch their feet and legs motor in the right way. I like them uh, tall shouldered. I like them round bodied. I like them shallow chested, neat shouldered. Uh, and once we put all those little, elite, unique things in one package, at the end of the day, that's what my champion's gonna look like. The competition was stiff as the show saw 492 entries across 22 classes. The top two selections from each class advance to the finals. What I love most about judging is, I know it's kind of cliche to say, but working with the kids is awesome. Uh, and I hope it's a good experience for them because uh, what I've seen when I was showing many moons ago is the, the numbers of kids are dwindling, it seems like. So I just try to make it a, a positive experience for all these kids to bring them back next year and uh, increase our numbers and increase, uh, increase agriculture awareness. The most difficult part about judging is there can only be one winner. Uh, and when you get these challenging and competitive state and national shows like the Iowa State Fair, uh, there's going to be 15 that deserve to be at the backdrop later today. Um, but ultimately, I can only slap one my champion. So that's the, that's the difficult part is just people understanding that, hey, I might like 15 or 20 of these things, but landing on one sometimes a challenge. The Grand Champion Market Lamb Award for 2022 went to Sam Schmillen from Marcus. Congrats to Sam and all the runner-ups.